Hey everyone, um, thanks for joining me for a reading lesson. I wanted to talk to you guys today about how your reading strategies really help your accuracy in your reading. Um, and maybe accuracy is a new word for you, um, but like the more you practice with all these strategies, the better you get at reading the actual word on the page. So like accuracy is reading the correct word. Um, so not just close to the right word, but like actually really the word that the author and the printer put on that page. But it's easier to kind of show you than to tell you. So I brought in something um, and I have a question for you. Here I go. Uh -huh. I have a question for you. Do you know what this is? Yes. Have you ever played archery? Have you ever kind of like had fun with that? So I've got this bow in here um, in my little office and a bow and arrow. And you know, maybe you've done this at summer camp or something and you pull the arrow and you hold onto the bow. And then when you let go, of course, the arrow flies toward the bullseye. And the goal, of course, is for you to get a bullseye. And a bullseye brought in this chart to kind of this picture to kind of help you understand how it goes. So. So here's my target that you would be shooting at with your archery things. And here are these arrows and all these arrows are right in the middle. So even though when you go out and do archery, this whole thing is called the target, your true goal is the bullseye because the bullseye proves that you have really practiced and you're really paying attention. You're paying attention to your both of your hands. You're paying attention to the arrow and the wind speed, and you're really focusing on where you're trying to get it because you get the most points in archery for getting your arrow in the bullseye. So it's kind of the same thing that I put accuracy equals the bullseye because you want to focus on all those things you know. You guys have so many strategies. I brought in some of these things that might jog your memory. Some of you guys have worked from this sheet about all these different kind of things that you can do to help you figure out new words, the chunky monkey and the skippy frog and the flippy dolphin where you flip vowel sounds. We talked about one of these um, earlier in the week about how you can attack the words, just jump right in there. Um, we talked about hunting for words that you know, um, looking at the beginning sound and the ending sound. Every once in a while, if something whoop, uh, seems a little funky, like that seemed a little funky. So I had to stop and think. Right, so sometimes you have to slow down and think, did the word that I just said make any sense? So we'll definitely use this one today as we try to work towards reading so that our accuracy improves. And when we read things, we are closer to what's actually on the page. So I've got a book to show you that will kind of help us figure out how this works. Hi, so here's the, the book that we're gonna share. This is on epic.com. And this book is named Ben Loves Bear. And it's by David McPhail, friend of our family. He's an amazing illustrator. He lives in New Hampshire and he writes and illustrates lots of books. So this is his book. So as we go through this, we're gonna see if we can use this strategy of trying to get our accuracy of what we read, meaning like we're really getting a bullseye on every word and it might take a few tries. So I'll show you how this works. We'll put that over there. Here we go, let's turn the page. Now try to keep this out of the way enough that you can see everything. So a lot of these words you may know. Here we go up in the corner, it says Ben loves bear. So I'm gonna capture those words cause I'm gonna need those throughout the book. I'm gonna need Ben. And I might need bear, and I might need the word love, so let's check it out. Ben loves bear. Bear loves Ben. Ben has, hmm, I can already tell that isn't really a word that I know. So let me just, let me just attack. Let me just go right in there. Ben has breakfast. Because he is, right? It seems like it's morning, there's sunshine coming in. He's still in his PJs. And this kind of looks like breakfast food to me. So I said breakfast, but as soon as I said breakfast, I noticed that this first letter was not a B. So there's no way it can be breakfast. But on our accuracy chart, I'm gonna put breakfast kind of out here in kind of the outer ring because I'm getting close, but my accuracy is not very good um, quite yet on that word. So I'm gonna try again. Ben has crunchies, because it starts with a C, so I think crunchies but crunchies might have an S at the end and that's an L. So I haven't gotten it quite yet, but I am getting closer because I did think about that C. So I'm gonna put that a little bit closer to the bullseye. Now I'm gonna try again. Ben has 
So the k, k didn't help me out. And a C next to an E can make an S sound. Oh, he's cereal, right? You have cereal for breakfast sometimes. Let's try again. Ben has cereal. And that makes sense because it has a ul at the end. So I came up with the word cereal. I got it. Bullseye. And it's okay sometimes if it takes a few tries. That's what good readers do. They keep trying until it makes sense and until the letters really match the sounds that are coming out of your mouth. So let's take those off. And if those words look um, <laughs> backwards on there, it's because of the way the video recording works. But you're still getting the idea of what's going on. So let's go to the next one. It says, Ben has cereal and Bear has honey. And I could plow right into that word because I can see the H and I already think about bears and honey because everything I know about Paddington Bear and real bears. Let me put this up here so I'm out of the way. This one says, let's see, Bear plays hide and seek. Where did Bear go? And I could tell they were playing hide and seek just by looking at the picture and thinking about my experience of playing hide and seek. Ben finds Bear. Bear looks very happy and relieved. Okay. Trying to turn the page. There we go. I need to keep moving myself out of the way. Let's try up here. I'm looking at the picture and that's going to help me out. Bear tick. Oh, sorry. Ben tickles bear. And I can already look down here and, and I know that maybe that word isn't one that you know really easily. Bear likes it. He does look like he likes it, doesn't he? Bear, but if I said bear likes it, if too many words. So that can't be right, but you know, I'm, I'm trying. So I'm gonna put it there on the outside and I'm gonna work my way closer, see if I can try something else. Bear, let's do the sounds. Is that really making any sense? I've never heard of that. But I, but I tried something, I, I must be getting closer because I said quite a lot of the sounds. So let me think about how he looks. He's really happy. They're both, oh, and I can think, what does, what makes sense? When you get tickled, what do you do that starts with a ul and ends with a s? Laughs, right? So let's try that out. Bear laughs. That makes sense. Let's keep going. Bear does tricks. Ben laughs too. And see, I needed the laughs over here to get the laughs over there. So laughs, yay, it was right in the bullseye. We got it. Absolutely. That's the accurate word. That's the word that was really written on the page. So let's try one more and we'll read through the rest of the book. Okay, here we go. They were doing their laughing. Ben gets his shirt on. And all of a sudden I'm stopping to think, and I'll put this out here a ways because um, I can already tell it's not quite right. Because if I look at this, I said more words than the words on the page. It says, Ben gets, if I say his shirt on, well, there's way too many words, that doesn't work. Let's try again. Ben gets, I'm looking up here, what's that called? You get on your stuff, it starts with a d, ends with a d, has a s, d, er, s. Dr oh, Ben gets dressed. Does that make sense? And it matches those sounds. So yay on this one. I only had to try one thing before I got myself straight into the bullseye because that was the accurate word. That was the word that David McPhail wanted me to read when I got to that page. Awesome. So let's keep reading a little more. Bear is already dressed. See, I needed that word again. Great. Bear holds Ben's hand. Ben takes Bear for a ride. And remember in these books, you can always pause and you read first and then unpause, you know, press play and we can read it together. Ben loves Bear. Such cute illustrations. Bear loves Ben. Ben takes a bath. Where did Bear go? Bear sits and waits, right? You got the towel on top of him. Bear picks a book. Ben tells a bedtime story. Ben loves Bear. Bear loves Ben. And down here in the corner it says, good night, Ben. Good night, Bear. So that was really sweet, a sweet little book about Ben and Bear. And there are lots of other Ben and Bear stories by David McPhail as well, if you want to try to look for those. And now you kind of see what I mean about this, this accuracy and about how you really want to try, try, try 
and see if you can get a bullseye. So just like if you were, you know, out practicing archery in your yard, you would practice and practice and practice and get better and better. And that's what you need to do with reading too, so that you can get better and be a more accurate reader. So thanks so much for joining us and we'll talk to you next time.